relax for me, okay? Let's not also mention the fact that I'm on my period. Yay! Can I get a little pepper? I look so fucking up. Oh. Hey guys, so November 23rd, 6.54 p.m. I am currently in quarantine. Since Friday the 20th, I've been quarantining. I haven't got tested yet, so I'll definitely vlog that part and put it in this video. Yeah, I have to get tested still for Corona. Like, the places around me to get tested get booked or, like, they're not answering the phone. So, we're trying to figure that out. So, yeah, I've been in quarantine since the 20th, which means my 14 days will be up on December 4th. My 14 days will be up. At first, I wasn't really that, like, pressed about being in quarantine and, like, in my room. But yesterday, I lost my sense of taste and smell. Oh, y'all probably like, why the fuck are you crying? That's just, like, wow, like, out of all things. You know, I like candles. <laughs> I like candles and diffusers. I'm gonna look like a crackhead on the side of the street. By the time you're watching this, I will definitely have my sense of taste and smell back. But anyways, um, let's ignore the tears on my face. I literally just placed an order on Amazon. And let me show y'all what I ordered. Oh, also today for dinner, I'm having five guys. It's like, I know it's good. I can taste like seasonings. Y'all probably like, why the fuck are you eating if you can't taste? It's there, but it's not. And I definitely can't smell, but it's okay. I got these tortillas. You never took an art class, you probably don't know what a tortilline is, but like, it's basically like a blending tool. I got a humidifier. I got a pack of like wooden pencils. I got a pack of colored pencils. I'm literally so excited for this. This is like a, obviously a clothing rack. Over here, I have this like tree like one. Like, you can't tell what it is because I have so much stuff on it, but it's literally like, like a tree like with branches there's just so much stuff on it and then y'all like it literally doesn't even hold everything because i still have jackets and stuff on my door but yeah before i started breaking down i think i was talking about thanksgiving it's literally in like four days i hope i can taste by then only kind of sad because i think my grandma is coming over for thanksgiving she might i'm not sure or she was i didn't say it yet this video is literally just gonna be me and my quarantine he's trying to hit him. really nigga that's the thing like literally I'll be eating and I'll be like, this shit hit. <laughs> but you know, it might not matter. Man, I'm gonna eat. But this is literally like three minutes later. Let's not also mention the fact that I'm on my period. But my food's still banging. <laughs> hey, why am I about to cry more? I look raggedy. But it is now the 24th. I'm eating breakfast. Some hash, some toast. Y'all know. I'm gonna say it's busting because it is. It's busting. But I'm rewatching Game of Thrones because why not? You know, I don't have nothing else better to do for the next. How many days I got left? Ah, uh, yes, I have a countdown. So, yeah. If I wanted to know, this is what I wear when I leave my room to wear gloves and two masks. Whew. Gloves. And obviously, I had to get a new pair of gloves every single time. So, these are trash now. But. I just want to go get cracker. But I just took a nap, y'all. Mmm. I can taste the butteriness of the cracker. Look at the big teddy bear. That's hard game. <laughs> I guess we'll never know. Or I'm gonna find it. Y'all ever just watch somebody on Snapchat, like somebody's story, and they just like, ugh, like, girl, every time. And don't, do y'all have those people like on our Snapchat that just send you everything that's on a story? Like, we don't even talk. Why are you sending me everything on your story? I guess we'll never know. This is never gonna I guess we'll never know. This is never gonna <laughs> I, I guess we'll never know. This is never gonna You'll be gone. Put your hands on my. I'm gonna put you in the. Stop your scary mama. Take a hit, take a hit. And by the way, if anybody was wondering, I have my braids on under this. Not my braids on. My real hair is in braids under this. And um, I would take it out because you know I love my natural hair. And plus, I don't have nothing else better to do. So I could walk around and show these bitches what hair is. <laughs> I know that when I come out of quarantine, I'm gonna want 
a cute wig, which I will see in my next video. Y'all will see me doing a beginner friendly wig tutorial, so stay tuned, period. Yay. Can I get a little pepper? What's good? <clears throat> so, right now it's 7 o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top. Still the same day it was earlier. <laughs> Taking out all factors of not being able to smell and taste, I've had a great day today. Me, my friend, I got today. And then my friend, shout out to Bethany. She brought me tropical smoothie. Now I'm chilling. Other than that, even before all of this, I've been having a great day. Um, I think it's because I restarted Game of Thrones. And then I had a really good nap earlier. And then basically, I just wanted to say, people true colors really do show when shit hits the fan. I'm not saying like people have to like bring me stuff or people not even obligated to text me. But it's just the principle. Like, pay attention to who y'all close with and who y'all consider y'all closest friends and everything like that because it's just real, 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 real interesting to me how it's people that I just met like four months ago making me feel better than people I've known for years and that's crazy. Don't even, I'm not even talking about Corona no more. Just in general, just watch who you surround yourself with and just watch what they'd rather be doing than, I don't know, calling you. And before y'all start, there's no shade, no tea. Everybody know who I'm talking about. Everybody know who they are. And that's just that. No hard feelings, though. But it's really good. Hey y'all, so 102, I got my Amazon pages. I was talking about, I didn't get my rack yet, which I'm super excited for, cause look how ghetto that look. Like, I can't wait for my rack to get here. But, I just been chilling all day. Boy, do this thing blow. Look at this, y'all. I'm gonna try to move this over here without unplugging it. I'll probably come back on here either if my thing get delivered first or when I'm about to go take my COVID test. <laughs> if you're tired of found guilty, then by the case. Hey. Hey. Here's my rack. It is a adjustable two rod garment rack. Okay. Here's the instructions. Face. <laughs> My battery's about to die, so I'm about to change my battery and then be your beat. Okay, so quite frankly, I don't know where my other two batteries are. So, instead, I'm just going to show y'all bits and pieces of me redoing this because, I mean, if y'all want to see me really get down, I'll have my room renovation series linked down below if you want to see some real magic. This is what the before looks like. I'm about to take everything off. Okay. So, this is what it looks like. Hi guys! Like I told y'all earlier, I'm going to get my COVID test. I'm gonna call my mom. She has her mask on. Oh, it's 440. Time for my appointment and I'm not doing it. See you guys there. Let me hear y'all. I feel like it's gonna feel like when I stick, <laughs> when I stick Q-tips in my um, ear too far. I wish I could set the camera up somewhere. Hello, my dear. Hello. Ooh, what is that? I'm all it's interested in camera. Okay. Oh, yeah? What's bringing you in? Were you exposed to somebody that's positive, that's been sick? Not that I know of. Okay. So, so somebody snuck something. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, look at you all skinny mini under there. <laughs> Let's try to get your... Okay. Just relax for me, okay? Ninety-eight point two. She will be in with you shortly, okay? Um. Hello. Hello. My name is. Hi. Sorry. Um. I was gonna record. Is that okay? No, you can't record. What? I can't record it. No. Okay. Can I record on my phone? Like my face? Put what on the phone? Can I record my face? For no. what? Y'all, she didn't let me record. She was kind of I just got it and it's not comfortable at all. And it just feels weird. She told me I'm not allowed to film an exam. I don't want her to come back in here and I'm recording. So. Hey 
hey girlies it's very much embarrassing but i definitely forgot about y'all like i forgot i was even recording this little video so the last time i recorded it was november 25th because y'all see i tried to record it in my test since then let me now it is currently november 29th i haven't recorded anything in four days and y'all probably have been waiting for this one. Oh yes i got my test back i got my test back yesterday and i tested positive for covid quarantine for is only 10 to 14 days from my test date which means so instead of december 4th it's really gonna be december 7th i feel like everything happens for a reason because before this y'all like i was like busy i'm always busy like i only like i'm ranting right now but i don't like sounding like that type of person to be like i'm always booked and busy but i really am like i be having stuff to do nah i be <laughs> i literally have stuff to do almost every day and then when i don't have stuff to do i really do still have stuff to do because it's like i just want to relax and do my self-care um i just been so overwhelmed anyways so yeah this little break has taught me basically yeah slow down but like really try to like manage my time better what am i rushing for like i'm rushing for a reason but like what am i rushing for you know so that's really what I'm just trying to value now. Just c watch, cause my foot about to be on y'all next, and I hate to sound cocky, and I'm not cocky at all, but like my foot about to be on y'all next. Do y'all hear me? Like, <laughs> go follow me on Instagram too, because we trying to make that a job, baby. Because I don't be throwing all this heat for nothing. That's it for my rant for real. I just want to catch y'all up, but I did want to show y'all. I love like the way my room looks now. I don't know, it just looks more like better. But yeah, so here's my door. And then on my door now I have my long like crossbody purses. Collection of hats. I've always now before y'all start, I've always worn hats. And I have all my shoes, yoga mat. Um probably have to do some lung exercises. <laughs> and over here, it's definitely like my second favorite area of my room. On the top I have all like my outerwear, like jackets. It's not color sorted, but it's definitely sorted by thing like jean jackets, corduroy. I definitely want to get another corduroy jacket. Got this from zara i love zara anyways i have my leather jacket some windbreakers and then puffers all my like shoulder bags those are my earmuffs and then at the bottom i have all my hoodies and like zip ups and i want to show y'all some of my sketches i sketched and colored this it's just literally like a flower and a cup like a plant my favorite i have this butterfly definitely my favorite i'll probably talk to y'all tomorrow or later who knows yeah. why you always at the mall when you're broke i know i'm gonna keep my shit too what it is or what's up got your nigga in the cut god damn i got three days of quarantine camera finna die I'm feeling great though. Got some good shit coming. Link in the bio. Go sign up for emails if you're watching this video. I look so fucking. Oh. I just finished a seminar, so that's why I put a wig on. <laughs> I've been doing the same thing every day. That's why I haven't been vlogging. <sighs> I'm ready to be a bad bitch. Well, I am a bad bitch, but I'm ready to really beat the beat them in the gut. You know, when I have a picture. Yeah. Peace. See y'all. Hey guys, it's December 7th and it's the last day of this video and it's the last day of my quarantine. Ignore my mess. I was gonna include like a montage of me cause I'm about to like do all of my laundry. Cause literally look y'all, this is all of my, like this is literally all of my dirty clothes. I don't really need to do laundry because I literally still have enough clothes to wear for like the next two months. Uh, it's getting excessive. It's like overflowing onto the floor right now. I wanted to get on here and tell y'all a little bit about these last couple of days though. Cause I, I haven't been vlogging. Honestly, I feel like it's literally bound to get boring because you're just sitting here in a room. Basically, two days ago, my mom, my mom was a nurse. So she was like, you're looking really fevery. And I was like, what? So that day she checked my temperature and I was at like 99.7 or something like that. And that's a low grade fever. This whole time has literally been just me researching everything about corona so i'm literally like <laughs> i know so much about it like whenever you're sick already it is common for you to get low grade fevers also in a lot of my research i found that a lot of people like people that are of good health already and like usually younger people like whenever they're coming out of their quarantine for corona they usually get a low grade fever at the end because it's like their body like fighting off any last bit of like contagious like cells or whatever my fever it lasted that whole day usually the low grade fevers only last for 24 to 48 hours so obviously i was checking my temperature constantly and then the next day after that um after like i started 
drinking a lot of water and like taking proper precautions the next day after that woke up checked my temperature it was good and then midday i had just literally had just got to shower my mom came and checked my temperature it was still good i checked my temperature at night it was good so then obviously it was a whole 24 hours that i didn't have it so then this morning i checked my temperature and i was still like i'm still average i'm still good so now i was pushing like 48 hours of me not having fever so i am cleared because the cdc recommends that you don't have a fever within the 24 to 48 hours of your like end of quarantine i call it my release date but um, yeah i hope y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this little video i feel like this video gonna be funny like editing it because i remember like crying like the first two days i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did go give it a thumbs up shop so wear the brand because i'm having a christmas sale so like literally everything is like either half off or more so and there's no code needed not the lean in mattress anyways